Hi, Matt B here and welcome to M2M, the channel that burns the nonsense. And welcome to this new series simply called Moon Hoax, where I debunk the most common moon land hoax theories, both old and new, from the era of Apollo from 1969 to 1972. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon, select all, and you'll be notified when I upload more videos. And if you'd like the video, then please hit the thumbs up. But the best thing for you to do if you comment below in each video, let me know how I'm getting on. And if there's any moon hoax theories that you'd like me to add, then let me know in the comments below and I'll look at adding it. So anyway, let's get on with the video and roll the credits. Number 11. Olgin should be in total darkness when coming down the ladder. Well, this theory involves this famous photo taken by Neil Armstrong showing Buzz Aldrin near the bottom of the ladder just before his first steps on the lunar surface. The argument is that Buzz Aldrin should be in total darkness and hard to see. Because of the lack of atmosphere on the moon, the light is not scattered to be able to see Buzz, explaining why we can see within shadows here on Earth. So therefore, in this photo, there must be a lover light source, i.e. a studio light. This is yet another very easy one to explain. So much so, my 15 year old daughter explained pretty well when I asked her before making this video. So this video is going to be pretty short. First, let's get the simplest and most obvious point out of the way. If there was a second light source, then there would be multiple shadows for the objects nearby as we can see in this example. But as we can see in this photo, there isn't. Second, due to the lack of atmosphere, the lunar surface still reflects light pretty well, which most of it is being reflected from Buzz Aldrin's white spacesuit, which also reflects light. Not only that, he is right next to highly reflective material of the lunar module itself, making Buzz Aldrin very easy to see. Don't want to take my word for it? Check out this video linked in the description where NVIDIA famously de debunked this theory using VXGI technology, where they meticulously remodeled the lunar module and the lunar surface and proved beyond any sane person's doubt that this photo could not have been taken in a studio. So yet again, for the 11th time in this series, we pile more nonsense onto the M2M fire. Pass me the matches.